Hello friends, welcome back to another session with me. This is Sanyukta Saxena and continuing with our journey or Zentangle Ensembles, we are already down five uh, sessions, I think. This is the sixth session. I again have four square tiles in front of me and these are smaller than the 3.5 inch tiles. Uh, they are 3 inch by 3 inch tiles. Yes, and now I'm going to be drawing a string running from one end to the other diagonally. Yes. So what I'm going to do is draw some zigzag lines like these. If you want, you can tape your tiles. If you are a bit jittery about the tiles moving or you can draw it the way I'm doing. I'm doing it freehand. Just holding two of the tiles and drawing some wavy lines running across my tiles diagonally. Yes, small part on these two tiles, not really much. And the remaining mostly on these two tiles. Yes, if you want, you can add one more probably. Let us see. Yes, I think I'm going to add one more. So slowly, just don't have to be too accurate, just some wavy lines kind of correlating two parts of the tile. Yes, some bit of continuity there. Yes, that's our string for today. Let's get started with some tangling. Yes. So I'm first going to start uh, with these two tiles. Yes. So first thing, first and foremost thing, I'm inking these wavy lines because I want the string to show. I'm using a bolder nib here. If you want, you can change the waves while you are inking the string. That's perfectly fine. Yes. So just inking my wavy lines. And now what I'm going to do is draw a tangle called 123 O'Leary in the last two and draw circles in between. So the tangle 1, 2, 3 O'Leary is a very beautiful flowy tangle. I'll show you how. So, so the tangle goes like this. So we'll draw some layers. And then again from the last layer, I'm going to add another roll. A nice and beautiful print term. Again from this, I'm going to give it a curl. Again, give it a curl, beautiful tangle to draw, simple, some curls and then some sections, auras, yes, so that's how you draw. I'm going to draw this in this part also, in the last row, yes. So let's start, roll it in, again, two sections, roll it in, again, take your time, slowly, Yeah, so that's two sides of the tile. Now I'm going to be doing the same thing here also. So I'm going to add that curl first. And then again, two auras, again curl it. Again, two auras, then curl it. Slowly take your time. Enjoy the flow of this tangle. Yes. 
again the other side need to roll it in Take your time. Again, roll it in. Again, some hidden layers there. Yes. So now the in-between spaces on the, these two tiles, I'm going to be adding the tangle struggles. Yes. Struggles also involves a lot of inking. It's a drama tangle. So I'm adding a very thin aura on one side of the tangle so that once I ink it, it doesn't mingle with my tangle struggles. Take your time. Draw as many orbs as you wish to like this yes now in circles if I ink the first section I will leave the orbs the way they are and ink the rest I am still using my boulder nib for the purpose of inking you can even use your graphic one yeah, probably I will use my graphic one only and switch my nib. So I switch to graphic one. The nib is bold. It will help me ink fast. That's the only purpose. So in this section, I'm inking the sections other than the orbs. I'm not going inside the orbs. That's how you ink in the tangle circles alternatively the sections and the orbs. Slowly take your time. Yes, in the next section, I'm going to be inking the orbs or part of orbs, whatever they are. If only a part of the orb is falling in that section, I'm going to be inking the orb or the part falling in this section. Yes, and leave the rest as is. Take your time, slowly, ink nicely, make sure there are no white spaces left in between. Done with that, next section again, I'm going to be inking the section other than the orbs. Yes, that's how you draw the tangle circles. If you don't want to ink, and this in between section probably we can add a tangle like Shattuck or any line based tangle if we don't want to keep it absolutely white yes we shall see that if we want to do that let's first ink take your time Yeah, so I'm done with my inking. Now this uh, middle section, I wish to draw the tangle shattuck. Yes, so let us start from one side. So I'm going to be adding lines 
that's up to you you want to draw curved lines or straight lines that's perfectly fine your choice again start to draw slight curvy lines is what I'm drawing again change the angle almost 90 degrees again so to keep changing the direction of the lines lines are almost at 90 degrees to each other go from one end to the other take your time yes again so it's your choice you want to keep this space empty you can do that if you want to add color you can do that whole lot of things that you can do as I keep saying this is just an idea make it your own give it your own personal touch yes and that's how the tangled shattuck looks like now inside this O'Leary we are going to add some bit of inking here and there To add to the look of this tangle some bit of inking yes so that's one part let's do on the other side also Take your time. And that's about it. I think we are done. yes <coughs> now hardly very small portions of the tile is left we will see what do we want to do there first let us do the same exercise on this tile also yes so i have started doing my second tile in exactly the same way inking the first and the last section and in between shall be empty taking a cue from the previous tile so that they look in continuity using my boulder nib graphic one to ink the space and I will do exactly the same exercise on this tile also to draw my circles yes you take your own time draw at your own pace and I will be back in a ziffy I'm now adding my shattuck to the in-between space as I did in my previous style also start from one corner change the direction of the lines purely aura based tangle
take your time you can also draw straight line shatters if you don't wish to add a slight curve to the lines you can add any other tangle of your choice tangles like hybrid tangles like mir so many that you can choose from yes so these two tiles are ready so once you are done drawing these two tiles now you can place them again together to get some idea about how you have to draw the other two yes so just maintaining the flow so the line goes like this yes might as well pen it and that section we will have to add O'Leary. Yes, just taking a cue, trying to build that connection between the tiles, nothing else. Kind of connection, not exactly. Yes, so let's add an orb here and ink the rest of the space. to avoid any kind of confusion yes and this part of the tile again I'm going to draw O'Leary kind of connecting it Continuing the lines, again curl it in, don't have to be exact here, they would look related anyways because of the major part chunk of two tiles being drawn in continuity, rest is fine, yes. So let's ink this small little space just as we did for the other yeah that's about it that's one tile and on the other one in the similar way these two are connected now so O'Leary in the last yes so making them in continuation kind of redoing so that I maintain the continuity somewhat so continuing to draw in the same fashion so this part I'm going to insert some orbs and then ink the rest yes trying to build that connection from the other side as I mentioned you don't have to be too particular about it I'm just kind of trying here but not being too particular about it take your time so this is basically one string running through four tiles yes and then the small section that is left, I'm just going to add some shattuck lines. Yes. So some 
like this and the rest like this. And that's about it. Yes. Now this tangle just add that little bit of ink wherever the spaces are very big. You can also add orbs there if you will feel like. Yes. You can place some orbs there and they would also add to the look instead of ink since there is quite a bit of inking here might as well add some orbs yeah so now we have very tiny spaces left on these two tang uh, these two tiles and we have considerable portion left in the other two tiles yes so let's first finish off the smaller tiles yes so think of any tangle of your choice. So since the spaces are pretty small, I'm just going to probably add some lines with some weight at the end. Add any fragment, triangular fragment, tangle like FECOP, like we did in the last session. Yes, tangle like wells anything of your choice spaces are small here so you will not be really able to add any bigger tangle probably a fragment would be a good idea yes so go with whatever you feel like I'm just adding some lines probably a part of the tangle senna is all that I'm doing here. Yes. And on the other side, either you can do the same thing or probably, let's see. I'm going to be adding some flux on the other side. Yes. So I'm going to, you can also add diva dance, you can also add wells as I mentioned, choose any tangle that you feel like drawing at that point of time. That's perfectly fine. I'm just going to fill up this space, this part of the tile with flux, small little spaces there, feel free to add some nice orbs, add to the look of this tangle, You can even leave some spaces empty, that's perfectly fine. You don't have to fill up all the spaces. It's your choice. Yes. Take your time. Yeah, I think that's sufficient. If you want, you can fill up the space with orbs. Tiny little spaces there. Make sure you add that touch of ink. Yes. 
so that's one I will do exactly the same on this one also so I'm done uh, with drawing flux and this part of senna a fragment on these two tiles now these two tiles are empty to build that continuity or connection you can also have this flux spill over these two tiles yeah from here also here there is no flux but these two tiles have flux this side so you can also you know build that connection by making this flux spill over this tile at least and the senna come here yes so let's see uh, I'm going to be adding some more of flux on this tile at least at the edges here so that they look like a spill from the previous the joining tile in fact yes it's entirely up to you if you want to do that since we are drawing an ensemble connected tiles it's a good idea to do that exercise yes and I can do this this side also so you can probably add a few flux here Yes, draw the way you wish to. Make sure you kind of pack them closely. <coughs> and these tiny little spaces can be comfortably filled with tipple. Yes, so I'm going to again add some tipples here. Fill in the very small little intersectuses, ink, wherever required. Yes, <coughs> and do the same thing on this side also. very tiny spaces just ink it yeah so we are done with this exercise now the in between space choose any tangle of your choice I'm going to go with a tangle called Huggins here yes so I'm just drawing a rough a light handed pencil grid you can draw any tangle of your choice I'm drawing a grid angle here, Huggins. And now I'm going to place some orbs at these points. Yes. Take your time. So once you are done with that, next is to connect them. <coughs> Alternate and mirror. That's how you draw Huggins. These are alternating lines and across our mirror images. Yeah. Rotate again. Start from anywhere. Mirror the lines. Take your time. Yes. And I think we are done drawing our Huggins. Yes. <coughs> One more aura is always a good idea.
I'm going to do it for all. You do it at your own pace. Yes. So just as we did this side, we built some connection between these two tiles by just spilling over our flux. Let us add some connection here also. So I'm going to probably add a small part of Senna connecting these two. Yes, let's do that. So what I'm going to do is basically add a small section of Senna like this just to build a connection between these two adjoining tiles not necessarily in perfect sync that's fine Yes, and then you can choose any other tangle of your choice in the rest of the section. So rest of the tile, I'm again going to repeat the same tangle, which is Huggins. Yes. So again, draw the grid. If you want, you can draw any other tangle of your choice. That's perfectly fine. I'm going to repeat Huggins. You can draw Cadent. You can draw any other. grid tangle or organic tangle, poke roots, poke leaves, feel free to draw any tangle. Alternate and mirror. If you move horizontally, I'm alternating. If you see vertically, I'm mirroring. Take your time. Do the same exercise. So I think we are done with our tangling. I have added Huggins to both these tiles. Yes. Let us now move on to shading our tile. So as far as O'Leary is concerned, I'm just going to add shadow on both the edges. Yes, do the same exercise wherever I have this tangle running. I think I have a part on all four tiles. So just blend. Make sure you leave the center white. And you don't blend too much. Yes. On next to our flux, I'm going to shade the petals. So add some graphite on one side. Just a touch, not much. Yes, soft touches and then just blur the graphite without blending too much. Make sure the whites are visible. Yes, this part of Senna, you just have to add some graphite here.
and the circles I'm just going to add graphite on both sides here to highlight my shattuck again make sure you don't blend too much you want the center as a highlight yes let's stop here I will do exactly the same on this style also yes if you want to add some more shading we can consider it a little later let's do the O'Leary on both sides just like the previous style yes so doing the same exercise on the second tile now blend blend carefully yes so these two tiles have been shaded moving on next to our Huggins shade the overlaps I'm not adding anything to the Huggins as of now we'll see if we have to add something we can do that later let us first shade it as is Yes, so let us shade this much first. Blend, but don't blend too much. Make sure you have a highlight in place. Take your time. yes shading my flux in the same way adding graphite on one side as I did in the previous style don't blend too much yeah I think we are done with shading this style let us shade this one also in exactly the same way slowly take your time blend but leave a highlight places from where lines are emerging good idea to highlight and shade the Huggins in exactly the same way yes rotate add graphite wherever lines seem to be going over under those are the places to be highlighted yes so I shall blend almost finishing shading my Huggins yes so once we are done with that now up to us if you want to add some bit of embellishment please feel free to add some black pearls on your Huggins 
they will really add to the look of this tangle I'm just placing it randomly wherever I feel like like this yes and I'll do the same on this tile also wherever you feel like just place a few nice and bold black pearls and you don't need to add anything else you're sorted yes so that was about tangling and shading let us now arrange our tiles so taking a cue from these they are in continuation so we will place these two tiles together and these are in continuation the flux so this tile has to be here and ensuring some bit of continuity in between these tiles also yeah so that's how our ensemble looks like yes the string flowing from one tile to the other covering four tiles and ensuring some bit of continuity between the tiles by spilling one tangle over the other tile and then just a few more tangles to complement yes that's another way to draw an ensemble hope you like the session if you want to add some more bit of you know embellishments then and if you don't like this black although it's looking bold and beautiful but you can add some dots with your jelly roll if you feel like it will add a mystic kind of a feel but again these things are optional you may or may not do it yes just to give you some idea so that's about it i'm going to close my session here so next will be the last session on ensembles till then have a good time bye bye